What is going on, guys? Jack Knight Five Gamer here, and I'm back with episode six of my Queens Park Rangers 50 15 career mode. And we're kicking off a game here with a, uh, a, actually a Capital One Cup game against Portsmouth at Loftus Road. It's going to be a big game for us because we're playing a, a weakened side in this cup game. Because, and I've no disrespect to Portsmouth, who obviously were a brilliant side back in the day, but you know, obviously financial situations has put them. Um, Dan in everyone's pecking order and they find themselves in the well, League 2, not Division 2, League 2, which is crazy to think about it. But, you know, I hope people will see him back in the big time uh, very soon because I really do like Portsmouth as, as a football club and, yeah, I hope we see him back in there soon. But, yeah, we're going to play a weekend side in this one too because we've got a massive game coming up at Old Trafford and we need the team to be on top form for us. But anyway... We're getting a string, string together a couple of passes here. You know, here comes um, Ebisilo, our new player, face it into Timo Werner. Werner onto the ball, uses his pace to get ahead of his man, crosses it into the box, and finds Charlie Austin with the header, looping header over the goalkeeper, and the R's have the lead in this game. Very well played there from Charlie Austin, getting his first goal for Queen's Park Rangers to make it 1 0. Only 4 minutes 16 seconds in, and check that out. That goes down really well with the fans there as they're all celebrating that goal. I'm very pleased we've got that goal and all because, you know, it takes a lot of pressure off us. You know, coming up it's a League 2 team. There is a lot of pressure on you know a team like Queen's Park Rangers to get the result and sometimes it doesn't happen but we've got an early goal here and hopefully we can keep the pressure on Portsmouth and make this uh, a comfortable game for us. You know, we don't want to make it too stressful and Charlie Austin obviously confirmation there he gets his first goal in the Capital One Cup this season. Moving on now into the next highlight, 21 minutes into the game, Holmes picks up the ball here, plays it into Taylor. Taylor cuts away from his man, plays it back into Holmes, who plays with a attempted ball into Connolly, who gets his shot away, but is blocked by John Brooks, and uh, obviously making his first team debut today too, and hopefully can keep a clean sheet. But Portsmouth keep coming in the attack here, and it just shows that I'm still trying to adapt to Legendary. As Taylor comes onto the ball here, I think I'm getting the hang of it this game, you know, playing two games now, I, you know, it still takes a while to get a hang of the controls here. And I, I, I kind of sussed that near the end of this game that you know you, you have to pass. You know you can't go solo anymore. It's not. It's, it's a bad pace a little bit, but you can't go solo. It needs to be passing movements. But here come Pompey on the ball again. Here east onto it now as he puts the ball into the box. He does look for Foden, and you know a lot of players go over in the box there. It falls to Taylor who takes the ball down, gets himself into space, gets his shot away, and it's blocked by his own man. And it's eventually um, another shot is taken there by Portsmouth, but a good save there from Scuffet, our 18-year-old goalkeeper in net, who's uh, keeping them at bay. Into the second half now, Jordan Much picks up the ball here for the boys, uh, the hoops. You know, we're playing in our away kit too, guys, because Pompey have the most weirdest kits that we just can't go up against. So that's why as Charlie Austin had a great opportunity to double our lead, but well, we couldn't do it on that occasion. We pick up the ball here yet again, but Pompey win it back with Nicky Shuri now. Obviously, he was playing in the championship not so long ago, but he's now at Portsmouth. Fogden, Fogden picks up the ball here, I think that's how you say his name, he crosses it in to find Connolly and a load of bodies throw themselves at the ball but they miss it all completely and then the player goes down there with a penalty shot but the referee waves it on there and it won a penalty on this occasion. Timo Werner now looks to unleash Hoisberg, Hoisberg we're on the counter attack, here comes Matty Phillips onto the ball 75 minutes in, Phillips he's got the pay, pace on him, he plays into Charlie Austin, Austin gets his shot away, great save there from the goalkeeper to keep the score at 1 0. 82 minutes in, we're looking to put the game to bed there. Jordan Much onto the ball. That's still at 1 0. It's become a very stressful game for QPR. It's been very boring too. Jordan Much plays it into the path of Austin. Austin gets away from his man to make it 2 0. It's blocked. Can we get Hoisberg on the ball? He heads it back down. It's cleared away only as far as Ebby Celio. Celio takes it past his man, takes his shot, pulls it off of Hoiberg, who gets his shot away. But unfortunately, the Lino has flagged up for offside. That's a missed opportunity again from the R's. But we do hold on to the end and we go through, through into the next round of the Capital One Cup. Scuff it a celebrating, sends the Loftus Road faithful into a, a, a flurry of applauses. No, we've just made it through them. Not the most of um, convincing performances, but we've got a full team coming out here against uh, in our next game against Manchester United. But Scuff it picks up the Man of the Match award. Again, another goalkeeper picking up the Man of the Match award. But Scuff it has been fantastic for us coming into net and he was in good form in that game. As you can see, we get good news on Junior Hoylet coming back from his injury there. And um, Lewis Muriel means that he is back from injury, but he hasn't. we haven't received anything from the uh, physiotherapist yet. But he comes into the office, Muriel, and says he's OK to play. So Lewis Muriel is back. And does that mean he's going to start at Old Trafford? Is it going to be Vargas? Is it going to be Charlie Austin? Or is it going to be this man, Lewis Muriel? And Simone Scuffett, on the day of, uh, of our game, he comes into the office and says, I've been in pretty good form lately and I'm feeling good. So I hope you're not going to bench me for the next game. We'll have to wait and see. Is he in my plans? Here's the bench. As you can see, 
Vargas and Austin make it onto the bench. That means that Muriel is starting. Werner makes it on Ebi Silo too, along with Hoiberg and Jordan Much. But let's get into the game. Leroy first, Sandro Tarrant make up the midfield. You know the attack. Yanuzai against his old club here. Well, not his old club, his parent club, because he is on loan until January. So this will be a very interesting game at Old Trafford. It's back to the wall stuff here for the R's, for the Super Hoops. But can we do the impossible here on Legendary against Manchester United? <sighs> I don't know. I really don't. But look at that Manchester United team. Angel Di Maria only finds a place on the bench with a midfield of Daley Bryant, Michael Carrick and Marouane Fellaini along with Juan Mata. Falcao and Rooney start up front. But where is Robin Van Persie? Not even on the bench. This is a weakened side from uh, Manchester United. they got a poor defence too. But it would be United that start off the start of the game as you would expect. Fellaini linking up well. Puts the ball over the top into Wayne Rooney. Rooney gets the ball away from Anuaha. Gets his shot away, and it's a great save there from McCarthy in net. And I know all my all my um, confidence goes into Alex McCarthy, you know, my, all my faith because he is such a good goalkeeper. He stops everything as Matt takes a shot from range there, and you thought for a second it could be fine away into the back of the net. And what a way that would have been to open up the scoring at Old Trafford. But game still remains at 0 0. But stupidly, McCarthy gives it straight to Wayne Rooney from a goal kick. It falls to Matt with a first time shot, but McCarthy makes up with that with a great save from a snapshot from Juan Mata, and he, uh, rightly so, he does get applauded by the centre-backs there. Ball gets played all the way back from Alan, uh, from Johnny Evans. Yanazar tries to shut him down, but it falls to Daly Blind, plays it into Michael Carrick. Carrick slots it into Mata, gets the first time shot away again. Mata has been on form this opening 20 minutes into the game, and um, you know it, 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 it's weird how United are not going up here, as Mata gets another opportunity to get the ball away. Daily Blind plays it into Maran Flaney, takes a shot for the first time while looking to curl it to the top corner. Saved well from McCarthy though on that situation. We win the ball back now with Sandro in the 28th minute for our first attack of the game. Yanu Zai links up with Adele Tarap. Tarap sees Muriel in space. Here comes Lewis Muriel onto the ball now. He's got the pace, he cuts inside of his man. He's going to get a shot away here, surely. He does, it is blocked away. It falls to Sandro from the poor clearance, gets his shot away again, it's blocked. Yanu Zai now onto the ball, crosses it all the way into the box. Find Sandro again. Saved well from David De Gea. The game still remains at 0-0. But now that first attack has given us confidence because we come in the attack again with Kelvin. Kelvin finds Tarap. Back into Kelvin now. Down the right-hand side. Kelvin crosses the ball in. Muriel's got on, on Raphael. He wins the header. 1-0 to the R's at Old Trafford. I cannot believe the scenes here. Old Trafford has gone... Uh, Old Trafford stunned. Just like um, <laughs> White Hart Lane was stunned. Now nah, so is Old Trafford. Trafford. The R's lead in the first half. 39 minutes in. It's 1-0 to the boys right before half-time. No, five minutes before half-time. And it's very well played there. Check that out. The ball comes in and Muriel positioned himself beautifully. Raphael mistimed the jump and Muriel gets his second goal in the BPL and his two goals have been crucial at the moment for the R's. Uh, they come in the attack again. We do get the ball away from United and Tarap. And all of a sudden we have a counter attack again. Muriel links up with Adnan Yanuzai and check this out. From the Belgian man. And Daniel Azai picks the lock of the United defence, plays it into Mural, and we double our lead just like that. 30 seconds before the 45th minute, we make it 2 0. And Mural celebrates in front of the Manchester United fans very controversially, but check that out for a ball. That is incredible. Now the R's lead 2 0 at Old Trafford, and it just shows how poor United's defence is, really. You know, it shows in the game we've absolutely just destroyed them. We'll be struggling to score goals. Um, in the Barclays Premier League, but we've now made it 2-0. Start the second half now. Kelvin picks up the ball. We're looking to make it 3-0. Sandro onto the ball. Plays it into Muriel. Muriel gets his shot away. Saved well from David De Gea, though. And um, we missed the opportunity there. Muriel now again, 58 minutes in. Uh, holding the ball out well. Plays it into Adnan Yanuzai. Flicks it into Kelvin. Kelvin onto the ball. He got the run on Luke Shaw. He's got the run on Evans. He's through on goal. It's Kelvin to make it 3. What is De Gea doing? It's 3-0 to QPR. It doesn't look like many people are celebrating. The, you know, more than QPR fans are running away. And I thought for a second there that the referee blew for offside. You know, the line over. But he didn't. The R's are celebrating. Kelvin, not really a big celebration from him. But it does mean it is 3 0 to QPR at Old Trafford. This is incredible. De Gea has to hang his head in shape. I think the goalkeepers are broke a little bit on this game because that is woeful. What is that? It is 3-0 to the R's. Manchester United now desperately they need to go all out attack to try and get back into this game. Rooney crosses it in, finds Matter. It gets cleared away though from the R's. We could put up the pitch. It only falls to Johnny Evans who plays it into Marrow and Fellaini. Fellaini links up well with Falcao. Falcao into Matter. First time shot. What a goal that is from Manchester United to make it 3-1. 
Just at 18 minutes to go in this game, but they get a crucial goal back, Manchester United, and this could be their way back into the game. We need to park the bus now, boys, because this could be a very tense last 20 odd minutes in this game at Old Trafford, especially at the Theatre Dreams. First goal in the BPL this season for Juan Mata. Very well played there from him. But we do decide to bring on Ebi Celio and Timo Werner. They're trying to, you know, obviously freshen up the midfield yet. And I think, um, obviously, Yanuzo is getting a bit tired. But Leroy Ferg picks up the ball 77 minutes in. Here comes Miro onto the ball, looking for his hat-trick now. Evans is backtracking. United defence ain't getting back quick enough. It's still Muriel. What's he going to do? He gets past Evans. Muriel with a shot. And, oh, I thought it was a hat-trick there. It would have capped off a great performance. And now we decide to bring on a new striker. Is it going to be Austin? Is it going to be Vargas? We decide to go with... Vargas for Luis Muriel and let's see what happens here an 85th minute corner here for Manchester United Juan Mata is going to put this one in looking to get a goal back make it very interesting then it gets headed away McCarthy punches it away sorry and all of a sudden Vargas is now on the counter attack he's got the beat on Rojo here comes Vargas he can make history here this could be the three points wrapped up it's Vargas it's 4-1 QPR the scenes at Old Trafford we have done the impossible. We've shown up here as the underdogs. You know, United have that A-list that A attack, you know, a five-star attack, but they have that one-star defence, and it doesn't matter because we now go 4-1 up from a great performance. And the scenes here are just incredible. You know, just exactly how I feel. I'm so pleased that the boys got the result in this one. And, yes, that does mean we pick up the three points, and that means our BPL season is definitely got off to a great one there. Muriel, you, you, you'd think you'd get the man of the match, wouldn't you? 37% possession. We got absolutely dominated, but we got the shots away and we got the more goals. That's all that matters. Man of the match award goes to, is it going to be Muriel? No, it's McCarthy again with a 9.0 rating. Very well played there. My word, Alex McCarthy, very well done picking up that man of the match rating. Scuffy comes in saying, disappointed not to start. But, mate, how can you be disappointed not to start? Because Alex McCarthy has played incredible. I, I just don't get how you can say that. But anyway, guys, that is going to bring an end to this incredible episode of Career Mode. If that episode does not deserve a like, I don't know what does. If you hit the like targets, guys, I will upload again tomorrow. As you can see, I'm a bit excited over the, after that game because it was just incredible. Anyway, guys, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button to never miss an episode again of Career Mode. Trust me, this is one you do not want to miss. This season is going to be so exciting. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. Have a very nice day, and I'll catch you next time. Peace!